Hey friends! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is moving vlog number one. I'm thinking there's gonna be multiple parts to this moving vlog series just because I wanna film like an empty house tour for you guys. I wanna show the process of setting up my new office, also the move itself. So this is gonna be a whole series. Today is March 13th. We are leaving in two days. And for anyone new here, hello, I am in the process of moving from Mississippi to California. So we are doing a cross country move. I'm moving with my husband and our dog and cat. We're moving because of my husband's work. This is move number four over the past three years. So my husband and I are pretty used to the moving lifestyle. I honestly feel pretty like calm about this move. And I think it is because it is the fourth time we've done this. My first move, I was such a wreck. Like I'm a very type A personality where everything needs to be planned ahead of time. We need to stick to a schedule and I just need to know all of the details. But my husband's in the military. So if anybody else is like fellow military or military family or military spouse, like you guys know the drill. There are no details in the military there are no planning ahead everything is just spontaneous and you are expected to get up and move wherever whenever at a moment's notice so we're making the best of it I've definitely come around I feel calm you guys will see later in this vlog but basically everything is packed up and we are gonna get on the road in two days which is crazy so we're running a Penske truck and we got like the largest size that they have and my husband will be driving that truck to California I will be sitting next to him and we will also have our dog and cat with us so that'll be interesting I don't know how we're all gonna fit. I personally get so anxious behind the wheel, especially driving highways. So there was no way that I could drive across the country. So I'm so thankful for my husband that he's a good driver and that I can be a passenger princess with our pets. And then we'll also be hitching my car to the back and towing it to California with us. My husband's gonna sell his truck so we don't have to deal with the hassle of a second car. But yeah, guys, it is going to be a journey. It's gonna be a four day journey since the drive in general is gonna be like 30 hours long. I think each leg of the drive is gonna be around eight hours and we're gonna do two stops in Texas, one stop in Arizona, specifically like the Grand Canyon, Flagstaff area. And then finally we'll make our way up to California and we're trying to make a fun road trip out of this. So we booked some Airbnbs, we're staying in some cute cabins. So I'm excited to show you guys the journey. Also, I know I should totally be packing right now considering that we're leaving in two days, but I am in the middle of crocheting a super cute fluffy flamingo. Like what? Like look at this, this is the head. And then look at these two little feet. I cannot. This is Little Buddy Yarn by Premier Yarns. I love this fluffy yarn and I knew immediately that I had to make a flamingo out of it because it's gonna turn out so cute. And then shameless plug, this flamingo is actually my pattern and it is one of four birds that you can make from my new No Sew Bird Pattern Bundle Pack. That was a mouthful, but yes, you'll get four different birds that you can make from the same pattern and I'm excited for that to release. By the time this video comes out, it'll be available on my Etsy on my website so definitely check it out if you want to make your very own birds but okay let's get into this moving vlog Just wanted to take a quick break from the video to talk about today's sponsor, Blue Land. I first discovered Blue Land on an episode of Shark Tank as it is one of my favorite TV shows to watch. And I was honestly so impressed with their mission. Blue Land's products are both people and planet friendly because they have no plastic waste. All of their products are free of phosphates, chlorine bleach, and all those other chemicals you do not want in your cleaning products. They are also hypoallergenic and sourced from non-GMO and vegan ingredients. 
Blue Land uses no single use plastic in any component from their bottles, their tablets, to even their shipping. Their iconic hand soap is what caught my attention the most. Hand soap is something that I use every single day, so I definitely wanted a more eco-friendly alternative. So Blue Land's hand soap with the refillable tablets was a no-brainer for me. And the refill tablets start at just $2.25. Their laundry tablets also got my attention and I just had to try it out for myself. Your typical laundry tablets and pods are wrapped in plastic, which will eventually end up in the ocean and hurt our environment. Whereas Blue Land's laundry tablets do not come wrapped in plastic, so there is no single-use plastic. And don't underestimate the power of these laundry tablets. They are proven to get out the toughest of stains, ranging from grass stains to food stains, you name it. Alright, so let me show you guys how the products work and how easy they are to use. So for the hand soap, all you have to do is fill your forever bottle with water. You drop one of the tablets into the water bottle, and then once the tablet fully dissolves, you put the nozzle on, and then there you go. Your hand soap is ready, and you can use it in a matter of minutes. There's no shaking or stirring needed. Okay, I just used the lavender eucalyptus for the first time, and I am loving the scent. It smells so good. I'm a huge fan of lavender, so this is definitely my favorite tablet now. Okay, and now let me load up my laundry tablets into this cute little laundry tablet container. Ooh. There you go. Now let's head into the laundry room. All right, for the laundry tablets, all you need to do is drop one tablet directly into the washing machine drum, add your clothes, close the lid, and you're done. So Blue Land is sharing a special offer just for my viewers. All you have to do is click my link below to get 15% off your first kit. I'll also include a handy dandy little QR code right here. You can get even more savings by buying refills in bulk or setting up a subscription. The subscriptions are super customizable and really convenient so you will never have to worry about running out of your most needed products. Thank you so much again Blue Land for sponsoring today's video and with that, let's get back into it. I don't think I ever showed you guys my crochet book collection, so I'm gonna take this time to show you since I am currently gonna put these books into a box, so I probably won't see them for a little bit after this. Starting off, Whimsical Stitches. This is the first ever crochet book that I got. It is by the incredible Lauren Epsi. I love this book so much. There are so many fun patterns in here, and I made a lot of my first ever crochet plushies from this book. Another book from Lauren. This is her newest book. It's Animal Amogurimi, and so many cute animal patterns in here. Next we have Tom Daly. This is a knitting and crochet book and this is not amogurimi. This is all like clothing, wearables, super cute stuff. I haven't made anything but I want to. It's definitely on my list. Knotted Loveys by Mama Made Minis. I haven't really been into making loveys but I really want to get into it because how cute are these? Okay, the iconic cat sweater crochet book. This is what got me into crochet. My mom bought me a cat sweater crochet kit for Christmas and that is what ultimately got me to start crocheting and here's the book that the kit came with and you can make a ton of cute sweaters for your cats like look at that Shay would never so I am not going to be making any of these but totally recommend this kit if your cat is into wearing sweaters not monsters another classic totally recommend this book if you want to crochet some hanging plants and succulents in general these are amazing patterns and this is also one of the first ever crochet books that I purchased. I purchased Whimsical Stitches and then this book. We got another crochet sweater book. My sister got this for me for Christmas recently. Haven't made anything but it looks really cool. I told you guys that I want to get into crocheting more sweaters so this is why my sister bought me this book. And that's it. The other books are about drawing because that was another one of my hobbies that I wanted to get into. Have I gotten into it? No. But these are the drawing books that I got. Of course I got a how to draw a cat and kitten book because I'm obsessed. Made more progress packing, the six cube organizers all done, these shelves are basically empty, the yarn wall is going to be staying as is and we're just going to wrap it in plastic. That's what we did last time so I don't have to box up all this yarn. Callie's chilling. My three tier carts are packed up. Slowly making progress, right Cal?
Okay guys, it is T minus one day and this is the moving truck that my husband is going to drive. It is I think 26 foot long and it is like, it reminds me of a commercial truck because it's just so high up. And look, this is the inside of it. So this is the boxes that we have so far, but look how massive this is. Also, it's like super high off the ground. Like if I stand next to it, it's literally the height of my shoulder. It's like a massive truck. I cannot believe my husband is going to drive this. Thank goodness that I don't. All right, let's get packing. All right guys, just coming on to give you a quick update. I just took apart my desk. I just took apart all of our like coffee table and end tables in our living room. We have most of the big boxes loaded into the truck. So now it is all of the big furniture items. So like the two beds, the couch, the TV stand, all that good stuff. So this is where I gotta pull out the big guns. As you can see, I have a lot of muscle. All I can say is thank goodness for my husband because a young girl could not be doing this alone. The day is still young, still got a ton to do. So let's get back to it. Also, here's another look at our truck. It is huge, you guys. Like how massive is that truck? So crazy. I can't believe we will be road tripping to California for four days in this truck. Update, it is 2 a.m. in the morning. We are almost done loading everything, but we're still not done. We leave in a few hours. It is now Friday the 15th. And yeah, this is the reality of moving. I feel like if we were to do it again, definitely don't recommend loading the entire moving truck in one day should have broken it up but you know you live and you learn my office is basically all empty you guys this is where my desk usually is we got one little opossum chilling over here he's living his best life yeah it's empty oh and of course we also have mr dragon chilling on top of the printer all right it's moving day um we got five hours of sleep it's pouring rain there was a giant pipe burst on our street so we have no water it's already 10 a.m we're two hours behind schedule but we're almost there 
Callie's so confused. She does not know what's going on. But basically, we're almost done. We're just loading the last few things onto the truck, and then we will be out of here. Quick empty house tour. So this is where my office used to be. This is technically our house's dining room, but we didn't need a dining room. Also, there's Shay and Callie. So then here is our living room. Front door. Then we have our kitchen, which is a hot mess right now. In here is the master bedroom. And then over in this hallway, we have all the other bedrooms. Okay, it is sunny out. A few hours has passed, but it's fine. The water's back on. The truck is fully loaded and we're done. I can't believe the house is so empty. Just the pets are left. Goodbye office. Okay, we're all packed. Woohoo! Trunk is all loaded too. We got all of the plants. I hope my money plant survives and my snake plants. And we're off. Callie, love in the front seat. All right, guys, we're in the truck. We are on our way. We have Callie up here. We have my husband driving, and then poor Shay is down below. I am so thankful that we are all in this truck and that I don't have to drive separately. I've mentioned it so many times, but it seriously it has relieved so much of my anxiety. My husband's in the back getting something, so of course Callie's crying. But yeah, this is day one. So this is our cabin from the outside. It's super cute. Um, we made it to Texas last night and it was chaotic. We like basically pulled into the field next to our Airbnb. Our truck like kind of got stuck. We locked ourselves out of the Airbnb. It was, it was a lot, but we made it. It's the next day, fresh start and it's day two. Callie and Cow meet for the first time. Gally! <laughs> you go pet her. Hey. Hey. Oh, she's like under. Pet her. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh boy, I'm a little scared. Cally, that's so cute. That's a cute baby. Oh boy. Don't don't be snapping, girl. Callie's like Wagging her tail, she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Always left out. Poor baby. She's 
Hey. Hey, baby. That's the mom. Hey, bear. Tally wanted to come back and see her friends. We gotta go to her. <laughs> Tally wants to see the mom. Tally, what's going on? It's a baby. <laughs> it just wants to be pet. <laughs>